Hi ma'am, it's great connecting with both of you on today's event. So can you tell us a little bit brief about you for our audience today? For sure. Um, my name is Lisa McKenzie. I work at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. I'm the Vice President for the Asia Pacific. We're very, very uh, privileged and honoured to be at this event today. And uh, I'm Minara Chowdhury. I'm a Senior Director at the Institute for Healthcare Improvement. And it's great to be here amongst all these amazing speakers. Thank you so much for uh, sharing that with us, ma'am. So, uh, as a, this medical professional's career, what do you feel the importance of upgrading and continuous learning and case based learning and platforms like university contribute in their overall career growth and development? It's critical for our medical professionals to always stay on the cutting edge and the only way to be able to do that is to continuously learn and to be upgrading your knowledge and skills and capabilities. So um, making uh, education accessible and um, able for our, our uh, growing medical graduates and also other clinicians is just essential in today's not only um, we, we had a good discussion this morning about what does it take not only to predict the future but to create the future and that all stems from education and having the capabilities that you need to be able to really advance what will happen next in healthcare. Thank you so much. I'm similar to that. Can you tell us the impact of AI? How it will be useful in healthcare? Like, what's your takeaway on AI also in healthcare, along with the continuous development? Uh, yeah. So um, I think AI is just the the future. We heard this morning the presentation from ChatGPT and it was a fabulous presentation. So I think AI is the future and I think we have a lot to learn. Um, and I think we need to understand it a little bit more um, so that we're not over dependent and over reliant. And that's where continuous learning comes into it as well. Because if you don't amalgamate the two, you might have siloed systems over reliance on one versus the other. So I think by combining and integrating between AI and also continuing to develop the knowledge of our medical professions, and in fact all the professions, nursing, allied health professionals, I think it's critical. Without that, we'll, we won't have the future workforce. So we need to do both. Well, similarly, like uh, Midvarsity have a platform where we do a 60 plus case discussions, live case discussions every month. Like, uh, is it necessary for a medical professional to learn more about case discussions because every case scenario is different for individual to individual? So if we think about adult learning principles, um, we absolutely need examples and we learn by, learn by doing. And that's how we make things work. So by having case discussions, it really helps um, clinicians, and I'll say clinicians in the broader sense, not necessarily just the medical profession, but all clinicians to really understand what's happening, contextualize it, and to learn from that. So certainly in the UK and in some systems, we have multidisciplinary learning, where we're actually looking at case-based learning. So it's so effective because it helps you to really understand what's happened, to delve down, and then work from there. So I think case-based learning is really critical, actually. It's a really useful platform. Thank you for sharing.